Well, you know him as the hunky son of Zeus in the show Hercules, but Kevin Sorbo isn't just a man with muscles. He's also the author and very outspoken about American issues that we are facing. Yes, he slays giants and takes on giant <laughs> issues. And with a new census report showing that in 2011, over 49% of Americans received some kind of government benefit, there's a lot to discuss here. That's right. And wow. uh, joining us right now, once again, on the curvy couch, our old friend, actor, you, and man. author, I, Kevin Sorbo. First, first off, you guys are cruel to your West Coast guests, because I just got in last night, and it's <laughs> like 3 o'clock in the hey, morning. I just watched cool. you on Red I'm Eye. I'm glad to be here. I got in and flew, went through it and straight to Red Eye. Wow. That tapes at 8.30. You seem I, awake. I have no idea. What? You seem awake. I know. I'm ready do. to go. I don't drink anything, but yeah. <laughs> here, I'll give you a little coffee. I don't drink coffee. All right. That's I have to learn, I guess. You've been on this program a number of times, yes. and Elizabeth, he's been on many times. Is what, if he had a card, he'd probably be up to about uh, 20 punches on it right awesome. now. Awesome. Uh, I got a free car wash? Yeah. Uh, speak to the valet. Right, speak to Joel on the way out. You're always very interested in politics mm -hmm. and what's going mm -hmm. on. And what about that uh, statistic that Brian just talked about? Half the country is essentially on the federal dole. Not half the country needs to be on the dole. It's, let's face it. I mean, there's a total abuse of the system going on here, and they, they think it's free money. And I think I, you showed a stat earlier, 31 percent think Obamacare is great or something. Who are these people? Right. I mean, seriously, are there people who haven't even read magazine? I mean, it's weird to me that you can even be that high on the problems they've had with it's those whole logging <laughs> in. That's a 100% problem. It's not 30, ah, 30 percent It's fine. I'd like to wait six right. months before uh, I can figure something out. We'll, we'll get some of these stats here. I want to get your okay. reaction. Direction of the country, we was asked 70% 70, 70 say we seem to be on the on wrong the track. track. Uh, about 20%, uh, a little bit higher. 21, 20.1 percent say on the right track. Okay, those guys are idiots. But the 73 percent, <laughs> yeah. but they are. But at least the 73 percent know. That mm. These are people that are informed and know. Look, there's a problem here, and that right. obviously, I mean, I don't think Obama's administration looks at that 20 percent and says, "This is great, we're at 20 percent." They're, well, they're saying we got a problem here, and they know it. We do have a problem, but I, I love the fact that you're working to solve it. We got chicken soup for the soul. That's and I right. Think positive for kids, which I think we're, you know, the victim mentality is very much so out there. But this book focuses mm -hmm. on having a good attitude yes. and having perspective, including some of your stories. Can you share? A little there's, bit there's, as Chicken Soup always right. does, they've been around for 8 million years, mm -hmm. thousands of books. This deals, there's 101 stories from people from Walks Life. We have celebrities. I wrote one chapter as well. Dealing with something that happened to you as a kid that was a positive moment in your life, a life turning event. And that's what this book deals with. And it's, it's for basically Great. 7, 12 year olds, and it'll, it'll keep conversations going between you know, grandparents and parents with their I kids. read parts of it. I thought it was fantastic. It's a fun book. It is. Book. It's you did a very good job. As, Thank you. as Tim Green, who focuses on this age bracket too, says this is very very underserved. Ah. Kids reading books that they choose to read rather than assigned to read. Yeah, I think mean, unfortunately that a lot of people aren't reading and they need yeah. to be reading. I mean, I've got my kids, we homeschool. Sure. So trust me, they're reading all the time and they love it and they're growing up that way. It's something that's part so of So you write the sure. textbook and make sure. your kids buy it. That's a scam. I'm very I'm smart. I'm like a college, I'm like a college professor. So Books, yeah, pick it up, chicken soup for the kids. It's, it's the, the Sorbo bookstore. Right. Plug for my movie coming out just now. Just came Go out. Ahead. DVD. It's on DVD and VOD. It's Storm Rider. Check it out. Good family movie. It's out Perfect. right now. Storm Rider. Storm Rider. Thank you. Right. Thank you.